Hi, this is Pastor Mark, and thank you for a few minutes of your time. From the beginning of this journey that started back in March, we have framed our response to this pandemic with two words, reason and responsibility. And in light of that, we will continue to navigate these unprecedented times with caution, placing the health of you and your family at the forefront of all of our decisions. So I wanted to give you an update of where we are in our response as a church to COVID-19. We're in a holding pattern in phase two of our reopening strategy. Phase two includes protocols such as reduced seating capacity of the big room by closing pews for social distancing, no food service, that means no donuts or muffins prior to or following the worship experience. Both church at home and campus worship will continue to be offered at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Nursery and preschool will not be available. However, Hope Kids for Elementary Ages is now available in the 11 a.m. service only. Hope Kids at Home content will continue to be provided virtually. You can bring your children into the big room during this phase also. Middle school ministry is available for all our middle school students during the 11 a.m. service. Hope Youth is meeting each Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. in the Next Generation House on campus. For more details on phase two, please visit our website at hopeandanderson.com backslash updates. If you're gathering for worship via Church at Home through Facebook or YouTube or Church Online, please take a moment and comment in the chat area and let us know you're watching. We have moderators for all platforms ready to respond to your post. The moderators are there to pray with you, guide you in the next steps of your walk with Christ. Prayer at noon starting next week will be offered twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we have a podcast coming soon along with a live weekly dive-in discussion relating to the teaching from Sunday that will start with our fall sermon series, a study through the book of Romans beginning on August the 23rd. Hope Fellowship is all also reaching out to teachers and letting them know we support them as school is about to get underway. As a church, we will be sponsoring teachers by providing supplies and other needed items for their classrooms and students. If you are a teacher or you know a teacher that we can sponsor, please email us at info at hopeandanderson.com. Community and connection group information is rolling out very soon. And volunteering is a great way for you to get involved. We have plenty of opportunities for you to serve, even if you are limiting yourself to exposure to others. If you are curious as to how you can serve, contact us at info at hopeandanderson.com for more information. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for your continued support of the Ministries of Hope Fellowship. You can give online at hopeandanderson.com backslash give or place your gifts in the generosity boxes on campus or mail your gifts to the church address. All of this information is on our website. Hey, the world is a changing place, but our mission as a church remains the same, that we're about people becoming and belonging through loving God, loving others, and making disciples. We're the church, and that means that the church is so much more than a physical location. What is exciting about these times is that we, not just a collective body, but as individuals have so many opportunities to have gospel conversations with others and we can love on and provide for our neighbors as ourselves. I have faith and protocol does not constitute a breach of my faith, but I have faith that the church will not just survive this, but will be stronger and more effective. If anything, we have been reminded that this journey with Christ ultimately comes down to knowing him and making him known to others. That's the church. Hey, our future is bright, even in the midst of uncertainty, because our hope lies in sovereign and providential certainty in Christ, that we're one church meeting in many locations. So I'll leave you with a word of encouragement. It's a promise followed by presence. It's in the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 9. And here's what it says. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you this weekend for church at home or on campus at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m.